rev up our metabolism. That's what we want to do. We want to raise our metabolism so that we're burning fat 24 hours a day. We want to be that person, you know that person, a person who can eat pizza, cake, ice cream, and still stay skinny, never put on a, an ounce of fat. Those are the people. Look, I used to be that person. I used to be that guy who could drink and eat and do whatever I want and still be lean and mean. But I was 20 years old back then. I was young back then and my metabolism was high. But as we get older, our metabolism slows down no matter who we are. Our metabolism starts to slow down. So during my career as a volleyball player, early in my career, I could get away with training but also eating whatever I want because my metabolism was high. But after I retired and after I finished and when I was in my 30s, guess what? I thought my metabolism was still there, but it actually wasn't. It was getting slower and slower. So I began to eat and drink and do whatever I wanted and I was starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you know what I mean people out there started to get you know, the spare tire, or the flabby arms, or the saddlebags, you know, or, or, or the muffin tops. We don't want that. So the goal of the Spartacus Workout Program 2.0 is to help raise that metabolism so you have a high metabolism. So you can be that person that can, at one point, eat whatever they want at specific times and not worry about putting on the fat, putting on the spare tire, putting on the man boobs. You don't want that. So how do we do that? What are the, how, how does the Spartacus Workout Program, SW2, do that? Well, two ways. One is through the workouts, the high intensity workouts, and the other is through nutrition. So let's st talk about the workouts. So the SW2 starts off with the workouts, and the workouts are high intensity workouts, which force the body to go into an oxygen deficit or metabolic deficit. So basically what's happening is, we're working out at such a high intensity for a short period of time, 20 to 30 minutes, well, your body needs all that recovery time to rev up its metabolism to get you back to the normal state where you started, okay? So sometimes that takes 24, 36 hours, sometimes 48 hours just to get back to that state. So the metabolism is now rising up to get back to that state. But, what's, but see what's happening is, because we're doing workouts four and five times a week, your metabolism never gets to catch up. It just starts to rise, it starts to rise, it starts to rise. So we're doing smart workouts, high intensity workouts that force your body to go into a longer state of epoch, oxygen deficit, metabolic deficit, burns fat for energy to get itself back to normal. And what's happening is your metabolism continues to raise slowly. The other way we're doing it is through nutrition. And because we're feeding the body, consistently feeding the body six times a day, we're keeping the furnace going, keeping the metabolism going. So now, once again, raising that metabolism. So you can see in two ways, both the workouts, which are high intensity workouts, proven scientifically to cause epoch, for your body to go into epoch, which, what do you need to do? You need to burn more calories, burn more fat, rev up that metabolism, the afterburn effect, so that your metabolism keeps going to continue to get back or try to get back to the normal state. But because we continue to do these workouts, we're continually to build on the workouts and your body's still not able to get to that state. So metabolism continues to grow. On the second portion, so we don't slow down the metabolism, we're feeding the body throughout the day. We're feeding the body six times good nutritious foods, vegetables, fruits, protein, um, the good carbs, uh, uh, fat. Um, healthy fats. So now the metabolism continues to go. So all of a sudden, we become that person after the, the program's finished that can go out and have a drink or eat some cake or have some ice cream or maybe a pizza and not worry about our body storing it as excess fat, storing it as a muffin top or the man boobs or the spare tire or the saddlebags or the flabby arms. And we're building muscle along with that. More muscle burns fat, raises your metabolism. So as you can see, all of these factors that I've put into the Spartacus Workout Program is to in fact get us, me and you, to become that who we used to be way back in the day, if we were, or that person that we knew that could eat anything they wanted to and still stay lean. That's what we want to get to. So for those of you that, are, that go and work out and calorie count, so basically what I'm referring to is the people who go to the gym and sit on the, the elliptical and say, okay, I'm going to do this workout until I burn 300 calories. That is crazy. You can't do that because the goal is not 
how many calories you burn during your workout. The goal is how many calories you burn throughout the day and how high your metabolism is and how we can raise your metabolism. So if you stop at 300 calories doing just your general traditional cardiovascular workout on an elliptical or bike and you're done at 300 calories and you've only burned 300 calories right there and then for that hour, what's happening all the, you know, the rest of 23 hours throughout the day? When your, metabol when, your, when your body gets back to its regular state and you're just burning like you used to burn. You don't want that. You want to be burning, you want your, to raise your metabolism so you're burning calories, you're burning fat, 24 hours a day. Even when you're sleeping, you're going to be burning. So with the Spartacus workouts, you're doing workouts that are high intensity, as you know, you've done them before, short rests in between, and a short workout, high intensity for 30 to 40 minutes. What's, and the movements that we're doing are compound movements, multi-joint movements, multi-muscular movements, uh, plyometrics, uh, we're doing, we're using weight resistance training, we're using cardiovascular, so all of that ties into a workout that you're doing for a short period of time, burning more calories than you would uh, doing a general 40 to 50 to 60 minute cardiovascular traditional workout. But as I keep mentioning before, it's the after effect. It's the afterburn, it's the epoch, it's all the other 24 to 34, 36 to 48 hours that your body is trying to get back to its normal state, which means the metabolism has to be going. And because we've already burned the glycogen stores during the high, uh, the high intensity Spartacus workout, we now have to burn fat stores. All right, so there you go guys. Just, just want you to understand that the goal of this Spartacus workout program is to raise that metabolism so you get to that point. So after you're done, you're still gonna do Spartacus workouts. You may do other workouts. You're still gonna eat the way you eat because you've learned to eat a healthy, nutritious lifestyle of six meals a day, the right foods. So if you wanna go out and cheat or do whatever you need to do once in a while, you're, no problem. And the best thing is you know how to get back to where you were before. You know how to get back to the, the, the lean, muscular, uh, or lean and toned state that you were because you've lived through it. All right, so just wanted to give you that. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Whole world in his hands again.